it's, um, it's always a, a bit of a balancing act to make sure that you're doing enough to increase your name ID and to be with groups like this and, and get the good feedback. Um, and that I can tell you as soon as we're done here, I get to go back and get on the phone again and start dialing. So we're just starting. Uh, we didn't decide to get into this until uh, after the November election. Uh, that's the point where we kind of said, okay, enough's enough. Our good friend Margie Vanderheim went down, and, uh, and that was just, that's unacceptable. So we're late into this game. Uh, <clears throat> we're rather confident that we can raise the money for it. This is going to be a two, two and a half million dollar campaign to get this message out. We're, we're fortunate that we have what we believe the key issue. That's what we're going to drive in on. Uh, how we articulate that will change, but we're going to empower people to, you know, to riff with it and to go with it. Um, so I, we've interviewed a slew of people, young guys, to work with us. What we're finding is well, we're having a tough time um, because we're looking for smarts, energy, theory knowledge, and, uh, and a, a shared belief that we can actually win. This is not in to make a good show. This is not in to uh, get ready for 2012 or redistricting or, or to run again. If we think that the anti-incumbency move now is such that we can win this time, um, that's audacious. Uh, finding people who have that kind of spirit, that commitment, the same one that we share, uh, that's rare. Uh, interviewing another guy this afternoon, so you know, we're going to put this together, going out to, to uh, uh, Democratic Deal uh, on Friday. Still looking for good help. If I could just add one other thing that I, I failed to mention. Uh, Risa and Wall have been, as I said, very helpful, but it, it goes so much further than that. Because it, as far as I know, I'm the only campaign that has issued press releases how the gears of this process work, and to answer the first question, can I do this? 
And after about nine months, the answer was yes. I remember talking to Ron, and you were telling me, don't mind me sharing, why you weren't working on someone's campaign. I won't mention any more names beyond that, but it was a very interesting conversation. Why you weren't supporting someone. It helped me understand, uh, ju again, just how the gears of this process work. And so I answered that first question. Yes, this is something I could do. So I first had the course, of course, I had to go talk to my wife. Also. Um, and then after the last general election, when Judy Fader lost, um, I made the decision that I was going to run. And again, conversation soon with my wife. And last December, I decided I was going to do it. And I immediately dove into it, reading, writing, researching, and worked through into May when I contacted Sam Crockett, the chair of the 10th City Seat. It's my first public, public contact with the, the Democrats. And uh, we talked about the challenges, we talked about the assets that I bring, my personal story, which was very strong, and began from there. Uh, I was advised to get involved with campaigns in the fall. I did. I worked for uh, Martin Vandeheim, I uh, worked for Stephen Smiller. Those were great, and I discovered I, I really loved it. Uh, so it was only, only positive. Uh, the website went up in October. Uh, I made my first hire, uh, campaign finance manager, in November. And we've been making calls ever since. I will tell you, it is a very, very difficult environment out there. It's not just the fact that we're in the 10th district, and there are Democrats who have said, I'm not going to donate to any of you because it's just money thrown away. The economy, I'm talking to architects all around the country, and God, <coughs> God bless them. Our, you know, our firm laid off in Georgetown, and it's a very difficult environment to raise money. So I have a finance manager, I have a 20-hour week volunteer, uh, been getting advice, I uh, have a, I guess it's called your kitchen cabinet, uh, began to assemble over the summer as I was talking to people. People came on board and took me under their wing.